Good morning, good grade four students, and welcome back to a new lesson. Our lesson for today is Top Stars, Part One. Let's start. And by the end of this lesson, you will be able to learn four new words, identify the main idea through reading, look at details to answer some questions through reading. You will find this lesson in your student's book pages number 116, 117 and workbook page number 120. Now let's start our lesson with this interesting activity. Have you ever missed the school because you're sick? What do you do when you're sick? I want you to pause this video and think about these two questions. Welcome back. Let's start with the first question. Have you ever missed the school because you were sick? Let's listen to our friend Ahmed. Yes, I have missed my school before when I was sick. The second question. What do you do when you are sick? I stay at home. I don't go to my school. I see a doctor. I eat well and I drink a lot of water. I don't share my stuff with other people. I always wash my hands with the soap. Great job. Ahmed. Now let's move to the presentation of the new vocabulary for today's lesson. You will find this part in your student's book page number 116, activity number 1. Have a look at this picture and think. What's wrong with the boy? Well done. He's sick. Let's use the word sick in a sentence. I stay at home because I'm sick. What part of the speech is the word sick? Great job! It's an adjective. Another picture. It's very easy. Well done! Tissue. Let's use the word tissue in a sentence. He wipes his nose with a tissue. Do you know what part of his speech is the word tissue? Great job! It's a noun. What's the matter with this boy? Well done! He sneezes. Sneeze. Let's use it in a sentence. I cover my mouth and nose when I sneeze. Do you know what part of his speech is the word sneeze? Great job! It's a verb. And here we come to the last picture. It's very easy. It's something that you can find in the toilet and we use it every day. Well done! Soap. Let's use the word soap in a sentence. I always wash my hands with soap before I eat. Do you know what part of his speech is the word soap? Great job! It's a noun. It's time to listen and repeat. Open your student's book page number 116, activity number 1. Sick Tissue Sneeze. Soap. Let's practice. Open your workbook, page number 120, activity number 1. Read and complete the match. In this activity, you will read the sentences and complete the gaps with the words in the blue box. I will do the first one for you as a model. A. Where is Ali? 
B. He isn't here today. He's sick. Now I want you to pause the video and do the rest of this activity by yourself. Welcome back. Let's check your answers together. 2. Children, wash your hands with soap before you eat. 3. Don't forget to cover your mouth and nose when you sneeze. 4. A chew. Can you give me a tissue, please? Well done, boys and girls. It's reading time. Open your student's book, page number 116, activity number 2. Let's guess. Have a look at these four pictures and try to guess. Where are the children? What's happening? Pause this video and guess. Welcome back. Let's listen to our friend Ahmed. Where are the children? They're at school in the school playground. What's happening? The children are at school. They are talking about some information in a poster. Now let's spot the new vocabulary in each frame. They will help us to find out the main idea of the story. Let's start with frame number one, Ahmed. Sick. Frame two. Sick. Frame three. Tissue. Sneeze. Soap. Last one. Frame four. Tissue. Great job, Ahmed. And here we come to a challenging question. What is the story mainly about? I will give you two options to make it more easy for you. A. Competition announcement. B. Safety and instructions. Pause this video and think about this question. Let's read to check your predictions. In the school playground. Where were you yesterday, Rima? I stayed at home because I was sick. You know, a doctor visited our school yesterday. He talked to us and brought a poster too. In the classroom. Look, Rima, when you're sick, you should drink a lot of water. That's right, but you shouldn't share your glass with other people. A two. Rima, you should use a tissue when you sneeze. You should use a clean tissue every time. Then you should wash your hands with warm water and soap. OK. After school. Look at that cat. It's so cute. <coughs> Does the cat have to use a tissue too? Oh, oh Rima. Rima. Now let's go back again to our question to check whether your prediction was correct or not. What is the story mainly about? Well done! Safety and instructions! Now let's read the story again to find the answer for the following question. Which of the three girls wasn't at school the previous day? And to answer some comprehension questions. Pause this video and read again. Welcome back. Are you ready to answer comprehension questions? But before we do that, we need to follow a certain technique. Here is a reminder. Read the question. Underline the keywords in the question. Underline the keywords in the text. Copy the answer in your notebook. Let's start with frame number one. Where was Rima on the previous day? She was at home. 
which of the three girls wasn't at school the previous day? Rima. Who visited the school the previous day? A doctor visited the school yesterday. What did the doctor bring with him? He brought a poster. Let's move to frame number two. What does Sahara tell Rima to do when she's sick? She should drink a lot of water. What does Hasna tell Rima to do when she's sick? She shouldn't share her glass with other people. Frame 3. What should Rima do when she sneezes? She should use a tissue. What is Hasna's advice about tissues? She says that Rima should use a clean tissue every time. What else should people do after they sneeze? They should wash their hands with warm water and soap. Last frame, number four. What do the children see near the park? They see a cat. Great job, Ahmed. Let's practice. Open your student's book, page number 117, activity number 3. Read again and write T for true or F for false. In this activity, you will read the sentences and check whether they are true or false. You will need to go back again to the story to make sure of your answer. I will do the first one for you as a model. Rima wasn't at school when the doctor came. True. You will find the answer of this question in frame number one. Now I want you to pause this video and do the rest of this activity by yourself. Welcome back. Let's check your answers together. Two. The doctor brought a poster with him. True. You will find the answer of this question in frame number one. Three, when you're sick, you shouldn't drink water. False. You will find the answer of this question in frame number two. Four, the girls give a tissue to Rima. False. You will find the answer in frame number three. Last one, number five. The girls laugh because the cat is cute. False. You will find the answer in frame number four. Let's do another activity. Writing task. In a world full of viruses, what do you do to keep safe? Do you follow any of the rules of hygiene that the children pointed out to Rima in the story? What do you do to avoid catching coronavirus? How can we save ourselves from viruses? Write a paragraph of five sentences about how to keep safe. To keep myself safe, I wash my hands with soap every day. I dry my hands with a clean towel. I use a mask when I go out. I cover my mouth and nose with a tissue or with my arm when I sneeze. I use sanitizer when I touch anything to avoid getting sick. I stay at home when I'm sick, and I see a doctor, I drink a lot of water, I eat healthy food. Great job, Ahmed! <laughs> what about you? Don't forget to share your ideas with your friends and teachers. At the end of this lesson, I would like to thank all of you. 
See you next time. Bye-bye.